So Netflix is interesting because um, what Netflix does is they basically go to an anime studio and say, hey, you're cool. We want you to, to we, we know there is a market for a Castlevania thing. Here's $20 million. Tell us when you're done. Um, and so it is completely done, you know, by the studio. Uh, obviously, you know, they'll check with Netflix and say, here's what we're doing. Um, but it is changing anime in a way because of, and I mentioned in one of your panels, um, traditional ways of doing things, you have all these different companies to, um, that you have to work with, toy companies, record labels, manga magazines, whatever. Um, Netflix doesn't care. Netflix is just throwing it out there. Um, and so a lot, of, um, a lot of creatives in the anime industry would love for Netflix to show up at their door with a blank check. Um, the downside being that now it's only on Netflix. And Netflix owns that thing and you're done. Um, so folks like Kunihiko Ibohara, who's very much an auteur anime director, he doesn't want that because he wants this to be a, um, he wants to make works that people watch and people talk about and complain about and are, are um, controversial. And it's hard to do that on Netflix. Um, it's also hard if you've got something that's successful and you want to make a success. You know, Love Live is never going to be on Netflix. Um, I mean, they may have it at some point. But that needs to be everywhere, yeah. right? Um, so that's complicated. Um, I think what's happening really is that there is generally the accepted way of doing things in anime, which is that standard, you know, we're going to make this thing for, for the Japanese market. And, uh, we're going to kind of go after these things we, we very much know about. Um, and that is kind of, I think, where how most things are going to be done for this foreseeable future. The one thing about um, Japanese business in general is it tends to be very conservative. Right? We know how to do this thing, we're going to keep on doing that thing. Right. So I don't see that changing in, in sort of the main. But stuff like those hybrids are allowing for more unusual things. They're also allowing for things where, you know, Castlevania yeah. is a great example, where it's unlikely that a big company is going, to be able, is going to be willing to get together enough people to make that thing. You need somebody who's done the market research and said, I think this is going to work. We have the cash to just risk it all. Um, so you get these more unusual things that the fans will love, but it is for those fans and those fans only, uh, which is harder to find. Uh, 